This video is brought to you by Monster Insights. In this video, you'll learn how to start selling workout programs on your WordPress website. This is perfect if you're wanting to expand your workout business and bring it online and serve multiple people all over the country or all over the world. This will work for you. So if you're ready, let's dive in. Now we're going to start from you already have a website and you're ready to add the membership level to you. If you don't yet have a website, then go ahead and watch this video where I'll walk you through step by step on getting your domain, your website, your hosting and your theme and everything like that. And then you can come back and watch this specific video on creating the membership site for you. For this tutorial, I'm also using the Astra theme with the Astra starter site. We're going to use the health and fitness. I just like it because it's easy to set up. I can import the complete site and the layout is perfect for something like a membership site. So the next thing you want to do is you need to add a way to do membership sites. And one of the best ways to do that is by installing a plugin called member press. It's the all in one membership plugin that you can use and you can do things like upsell, downsell, have multiple memberships. You can also do trial recurring everything that you need in a membership site. This will do it for you to get started. Just head over to WP beginner forward slash refer forward slash member press, and that will give you the best discount on member press. We'll also have a link in the description below. Great. Once you create an account and log in, you'll, you want to go to your account dashboard, go over to downloads so you can download member press. You will also want to scroll down and go ahead and copy the license key because we'll need that in the next step. Now we need to head back over to our WordPress dashboard. From here, you want to go to plugins, add new, so we can upload the member press plugin. So let's click on the upload plugin. We'll choose file, get the zip file and upload this. Now we can install the plugin. You'll also want to stick around to activate the plugin as well. So we'll activate this. Great. Now we see it's activated here and we also now have a new tab over here. So we want to head over to our settings area. We need to add our license key so that we'll get updates and support for this. Under license key, we can just right click and paste in the license key that we copied and let's activate this. Great. Now that's activated. We have all of these areas up here that we can work on. We won't cover every tab of these, but you'll want to go through and get a little familiar with these areas. So under pages, you can see that they've already reserved a thank you account, a login. They've also reserved these membership slugs. That's nothing for you to change or do anything with. And then under here, under unauthorized access, you can either redirect people. If they've tried to access one of your group pages or one of your membership site areas, then you can redirect them to basically purchase so that the, they can log in. Or you can also redirect them, say, to a pricing page so that they see that. You can also show an excerpt to unauthorized users. And this is a nice little teaser that things that they're missing out on. And that might be a good way to showcase some things and some reasons why they might want to purchase your membership site. And then under here, you definitely want this to show the login form on pages containing unauthorized content. Basically, if somebody goes to your site and they haven't logged in, you don't want to upset them by making the go find the login page. So just add login pages on all of the area. That'll work perfectly. So what we want to do right now is we want to add our payment methods. And this is so you can get paid. So when I click on payments, we click on the plus button here and there are several to choose from. For instance, on the drop down, you have offline payment. If you still want to get money from people in person, if you have a merchant account, then you can use authorize.net. You can also use PayPal Express, Standard and Stripe. So I'm going to just show you the standard method. And you just want to give it a name, just do PayPal. And for this, you'd want to add the primary PayPal email that you have. So you, you want to add the email address here. And then if there's some more advanced items that you need to do, go ahead and check out the member press documentation on setting that up. So let's go ahead and click update options. Great. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and set up our membership levels. So we go over here on the left to memberships and we can set up levels. And this is where you want to decide what type of membership are you doing? Are you going to just choose to offer one? Do you want to offer a few different ones like a basic an advanced and elite or something like that? 
just to show you how this works, we're going to quickly set up three. I'm going to do a basic advanced and elite, and then we'll come back. You can add all the information, the details of the basic here down under registration. You can choose to enable a thank you message. You can send them specific emails to users and several other things. Also under permission, this tells you who all can see this level. And basically you want everyone to see it. Anyone who comes to the site, you want them to be able to see that. The price box, that's what it will look like. And that gives you a little bit of a preview once you're setting this up. I'm going to keep that at auto and that just pulls in the pricing from your area. Give them the benefits. Set something up for under the bottom. And then you want to set up a button and then decide where you want the, the button. And then you can choose to highlight that. Most people will pick the middle one to highlight. So we'll do that as well. So that looks good. Over on the right, you want to choose how much you want this to be. And how often, if it's a one-time item, recurring item, if it is recurring, how often, you can choose that here. Do you want to offer a trial period first? You can choose that here. We'll do $9.99 as the price level. Allow them to do one trial period of seven days. Trial amount is nothing. And we're happy with that, so we're going to click Publish. Once we have that one, now let's go ahead and add another one. We're going to do gold level. Go back to the price box. Again, we want to say what this is. We'll do gold level. Pricing display will be automatic. Give the benefits. Do basic plus. Let them know they're getting everything in the basic plus. Maybe meal plans. Maybe that's it for you doing meal plans. And because this is the middle one, we want to highlight this one. So this one will be highlighted. Okay. And then going up, we need to choose what to charge. 1999. This will be recurring monthly. They can have a trial period of seven days. And I noticed that this isn't showing the benefits, but it'll show in the final thing. So something's wrong with the preview. Great. That looks good. And then we're going to do one more. So we're going to do add new and we'll do elite level. Go down to the price box. We're going to do elite level pricing. Get all the benefits of the gold level plus and then they actually get coaching calls with you weekly and again it'll pull in all of the items when we get there so for this one the monthly item choose whatever is perfect for your business do recurring do monthly will allow a seven day trial period as well Now we have three different membership levels. And so now we want to be able to showcase what they look like. Okay. Now that we've created the membership levels, we need to create rules on who can see them and who can access them. So let's go over to rules area and we need to click add new. So from here you want to choose how to protect it and for what type of, what type of content to protect. So ideally you have different categories, maybe your elite, all of your elite information, all your elite programs will have a category of elite, same with your basic, same with your gold or however you have it set up. And then you can choose how to protect the content here. You can either choose to protect all content, all content categorized, and then that's where you could choose the category. As long as you tag all of your workouts with elite, then only the elite people will be able to see it if it's tagged with the category elite. And you can choose even just a single post if you want to get that granular, things like that. So you can choose that from here. 
So for this one, we're going to say all content categorized and see it's pulling in the categories. So you'll definitely want to have the categories already set up. So we'll go under posts real quick, quick and click categories. And for here, I want to create elite category, basic and gold. And then any of the lessons or any of the workout programs that I have for each one, we'll add that category. Now we'll go back to member press. We'll go to rules so we can create these categories. So we're going to create an add new all content. And we'll say all content categorized as elite grant access to membership elite level. And then nobody under elite or nobody who isn't elite will get that. So we'll save a rule. Now you need to do the same thing for the other two. So we're going to click add new, all content categorized and start typing in basic, all content categorized as gold. And what's great about the rules also is if you're going through like a 21 day transformation thing, you can also enable drip. So you can just allow the content to drip out if you want. You can dig into that a little bit more. So that's kind of a cool access level as well to drip out your content. Great. Now that we've set up the memberships and we've set up the rules, now you need to create the content for them. So you can go into your posts. You can also do this in pages, go into your posts and add the content. And when we go to all posts, you see, we now have this area of public and you'll see what this looks like when we create content specifically for levels. So for instance, we're going to go in here we're going to create a post. It's going to be a workout post can add the information, add the images, add the workout that you want for them to follow. Great. Once you add your workout here, you also want to make sure that you go to document up here and you make sure that it is tagged with the proper category. So for instance, this is say our basic workout. So you want to scroll down and make sure that basic is selected so that basic people have access to this. Now we can click publish. And then when we go back to our all posts area, you see that access level is basic here. So so not only would people with basic access will be able to access this. Now, because we set this up as anyone who has gold or elite will also have access to this. You want to change your access levels, but this is just a showcase to set the rules. You go in, you create your content, and then you add the access levels there. And then you want to do that for your elite and your gold level and get all of your content on there. And then what, we can do next is we can set up a pricing page for that. So to do that, let's go to member press. We'll go to groups and we'll all those membership levels. will be able to pull all of them in to a pricing page. So I'm gonna go to a group. I'm going to add new name it. And then you want to show the levels here. So you want to pick all three and then you want to move them around. To how you want them to look and we'll have the gold in the middle. You can also do upgrade and downgrade that is more advanced for this, but you could add those different levels if you want. So we're going to add those here. I want to add some content here. From here you can add some images or some information just to give it a little pizzazz. And then let's hit publish and then we'll open this up in a new page so you can see what it looks like. I think that image is going to mess some things up. So I'm going to move that. It's a little bit too big. So, okay. Then we can hit update and now let's go to our pricing page and you'll want to play with this. We have a lot more information here and so it's showing up bigger, but now they can come down here and pick which one they want. And so we say, get my gold, sit them, send them to this page. They click sign up and then I'll go through the process of signing them up where they can pay for it and everything.
Great, everything looks good. Now we just need to add some of these items to our menu and maybe a login area to our site. So let's do that. We're going to scroll over to appearance, menus. And from here, you wanna choose the menu that is your primary menu. So let's click primary menu, select. Now this will be our main menu. So I want to add the pricing page and that's under groups because we set up groups. So I'm gonna go open up groups area, click pricing, click add to menu. And I wanna bring this up next to home. I'm gonna left click and drag that. Now let's click save menu. And we'll open this up in a new tab to see it in action. Great, now we have a pricing page that they can click on and choose their pricing level. We also want to give them an area to log in as well. So let's go to menus and we'll add a login area. I'm gonna to go to pages, login, and I'm gonna click add to menu. I wanna save that menu. And now we've added a login area that if you are logged out, make sure you're logged out so you can see this, then it'll take them to a login page where they can log in. And then the cool thing about all this is once you've started selling your membership program and once you started getting traffic, you will want to use something to test and see how your traffic is doing. The easiest thing to do with that or the easiest way to see how your traffic and how your website is doing is by installing a plugin called Monster Insights. Monster Insights makes it super easy to see where's your traffic coming, who is coming to your site, from where, what are your top referrers, who's referring you so you can set up a partnership or an affiliate program with them, and so much more. To get started with Monster Insights, just head over to monsterinsights.com and make sure you use promo code WPBVIP to get the best discount on Monster Insights. And thanks for watching.